right, what's up everybody? Lambo here. I have the squad and Garrett plays and Spencer TV breathing down my neck for this jet ski. So I need to finish it for them. Uh, there's been a couple issues with it because as you can see here, it says ski do and then it says nothing. Uh, something funky with the texture. So we got to go in and actually fix that. And I think it's because of the size. Um, so the best way and the error it throws for this is do, 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 performance audio you'll see it right here performance width does not equal blah 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 mit, of mit map texture and it's referring to the gtr 215 which is this bad boy right here so what we're going to do is edit that that bad boy i bring it up in nope uh, paint.net and then I'm gonna hit control R it's gonna resize it and it is at 3000 that's why it's not gonna work in order for this to work it needs to be at 2048 at least you know or you can do uh, in increments of you could do like 2048 by 1024 or 1024 by 512 uh, they all have to be increments of uh, of 256 when increasing of it at anyways so usually I mean if it's if you're doing a, a a texture for like a pipe you're going to use like a 512 or smaller kind of an image if you're using some high detail like this we're going to do obviously a bigger uh image so you get more graphics on it so resized it then we'll hit Control s to save and saving boom should be done um let's see if it is saying that about any other let's this is mainly just tackling some errors on this jet ski that I have. Uh, no clip distance set for node ski do set clip distance to 300. So node ski do, node ski do, hey, hello, we got a node ski do here. Okay, um, right here, no clip distance set up. You need this, what clip distance is, it is how, how far um, this thing is before the game loads it like so you can actually visually see it in the game and if i put ten thousand million kajillion like it is right now you'll be able to see it all the way across the map it'll cause major issues the game will try to load so many objects at once you don't want that so let's just put 300 boop, boop. okay clip distance set uh next plan of attack for coding issues warning more warning in case okay, so i got the clip distance now right here it says fail to find child zero from node lights only zero childs given so what it's doing here is I never touch the lights and it's nice because um, the editor actually or the log actually tells us where to look, what's messing up. So and I did this on purpose. I knew I didn't even touch the lights when I got started. I just wanted to see what wouldn't work when I converted it. So it's a little lazy. So easy squeezy cover girl. We'll just click on that uh, index that it's trying to look for and we'll open up our ski do XML that I already have open here. I'll hit control F and I'm just going to paste it that in there and boom right there it's, it's if you notice on the right hand side here it's already looking for these lights so now we need to redirect these to the real lights that i have in here um and see if we can boop, 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 right here light we're going to show lights on the ground i always do this i start map making and then i get these little little tiny viewports I'm doing all the coding and then all of a sudden, boom. Okay, so that light is facing backwards. That's awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna rotate it forward, bring it forward a wee bit, maybe up directly in the center. That's not directly in the center, is it? Oh, the jet ski's off, that's why. The jet ski's kinda tweaked. How did that happen? Okay. All right, so in order to do this, I usually like to go and click non-renderable and now I gotta match this up here because that's not gonna work for me. That's a little better. I hate roughly doing this. The whole model is obviously off. Okay. So now that that's set, that's great. Left wheel, right wheel. Uh, since that guy's set in stone here, 
I just gotta even everything out. You see, it's all like funky right now. Uh, okay, so right ski, back ski. Okay, everything should be evened out there. Exit point is over there. Camera angles. Uh, and I'm just going down the line here. See that camera's off now. Indoor camera needs to be over just a hair. Boom. Okay. Now oh, I have so much to do. Okay. Okay, so that camera... We'll hop out of this camera now, how you do the cameras, go into my work camera, and then we'll track down that camera, that indoor camera, and then you need to come over here to the rotate. If you've seen me do this a hundred times, I'm sorry, but at least you know now. And what this will do is it'll actually fix the camera angle when you're playing the game. Uh, and so it needs to be zero for X, negative 180 for Y, and zero for rotate X forward, or rotate Z for that, and that's for the indoor camera. Um, so Ray, Raycast no, what this does is it blocks the camera from going inside the model. Usually I do this on the front, and then I do this one on the far back. Farthest back right there, steering node. I don't think we're using that. Uh, attacher joints, I don't think I needed an attacher joint. I think my exhaust... Got the, oh, got the map on 72 errors. Woo, that's a lot of errors. Got, got some fixing to do on the map. That's why it's not out public yet, boys. Okay. Sorry, we are talking here. My bad. We're trying to get the the map on a server here. So we're going to reverse that. So my exhaust before when I was playing it was going straight up. So we're going to fix this to, to where it's coming out where it needs to be. Make sure it's coming directly out in the center. Okay. Um, lights now. Thank you, Super Pros 9 or Farmer Steve. Appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna pick this bad boy up. Keeps messaging me, I'm gonna have to silence that. Okay, back at it here. I had to turn my Discord to silent, I think I did. Okay, now I'm on silent with my Discord. Okay, so placing this light here. Where's, where is it swung at? Right there. I'll have to look as. Okay, player root. I'm gonna have to scoot this whole dude over now. Dang it. Okay, bring him over right about. Center, actually, that's exactly center right there. Sweet. Okay, and then we'll go player skin, player right foot, player left foot. Make sure they're not extending down past the. Okay, collision trigger looks okay. Shadow focus box, that's perfect. Okay, now we're into the ski do bottom, all this kind of stuff. Um, gosh darn it, when I made this, I wish I would have considered FS FS19. It does not like that texture, guys. We're gonna reload that texture. Oh, sweet, it fixed it. Okay, so if you noticed that before, uh, when we did the mint map error a little bit ago, uh, when you when we fixed this image. You notice it's not all jacked up now. I just had to hit reload uh, on the image up here. You can reload a single image or you can reload all the textures. If you're in a map, do not press the reload all textures button. Just a warning. Okay, so got that light working. Now uh, we need to sync up this light. So this is the light that it's looking for in the XML now. Uh, we're just going to keep this simple, guys. Oh, so it, it was exactly where it needed to be, right? It said it could not found but it's saying it can be found now did i do that right lights copy that's strange 
strange that it would throw that error. Tell me that it can't find that. And then uh, maybe it's something else. Um, real light node missing for light. Real light's low light. So it's missing low. Make these light type zeros. I don't know why they're O's. Zero is the first stage. Uh, so light types, when you click the button on, uh, light type zero is your first one. Uh, and then one is your second one and two. And you can add as many states as you want in right here. Maybe you want to do two two and zero or three and zero. You would make a another one of these right here and just replace those numbers with three and O oh, or whatever one you wanted. Okay, so those lights obviously work. Um, we haven't put in any shared lights yet. So, okay, so we'll keep looking down here. It says, good, 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 same error. Really doesn't like that. Uh, same error, same error. Still looking for the same node. No depth path available for driving dust. FX smoke cut from requires reading depth. FS smoke mat. I'm not sure where that is in this. Uh, what material that is so best way to do that is hit save here and then I open it up with my text editor and then while I have it in here I hit control find put in that smoke and that's not this mod that's a different mod that was dinking up on me I guess okay so now that that's all placed I should, should go here and turn my non-renderable on um there's I got my little I don't know where these guys are. We got to set up these animations. There they are, right there. Set up our animations for placed right about somewhere right in there. Look good. Yeah, that works perfect. Okay, anti tip feature. I don't have this installed yet. Um. But you guys remember this if you've played with my mods before. You should remember this to where if you flip over, you'll be able to get fixed. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of coding to do that, but we might do it. Um, let's do the animations for the, for these guys right now. And then I already got the mirrors working. Those, those was easy. I didn't expect the mirrors to work that fast. Uh, I might actually, oh, those need to be. Picked up just a whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Okay. Because it freaks out like that, you notice the scale over here on the right hand side is 0. 0.00001. Because when I did this before, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So now we'll level that out. And now it should be, it should nicely scale up for me just to fill that crack I have right there. I don't like that crack. Um, oh, I have these. That's why. I have them twisted, guys. So if you don't like the... I have them twisted because then you can see behind you. Currently, you can't see behind you uh, unless they're pulled up like that. So... Okay, animations on the speed and whatnot. Let's do that. That's the code, I, that's the index I need. Let's go bring up something that has that in it. Pretty sure that does. We'll go down here to dashboard, okay. And then we'll come into here and this one to the motorized section. It does not have a dashboard suite, so I can just put it in. Um, put in our dashboard right here so motor temperature we're not going to use that one and then we'll open up my f1 mod and we're going to take out out of this motorized there's some code right there numbers numbers for speed so there's rpm Regular speed, there's a speed signature. Okay. Okay. I need one with an animation for the 
display type value numbers and just we can retype the code but i just want it easy easy me who else has these is my truck Motorized dashboard brought no, not that one. That's... Nobody puts any freaking animations in their map, but me and Winston, dang it, are into their mod. Okay, I gotta open up one of mine. Ponus have it in there. It should motorized differentials. Dashboard, emitter light space. Okay, so I guess we're just going to go through and uh, try to copy the boop, boop, boop. Try to copy this one. We'll just double it up. Okay, animation. Uh, we're going to go RPM. Set a speed and then. M display. I can ditch out on that now. I don't need that one anymore. Okay, I think I just manually did that. Okay, uh, pretty sure I did. Okay, so now we'll pull this back over. And then in order to pull this off here, I gotta open my Need some more code here. Okay, so I got that. Now we're going to animations. It just doesn't have an animation on it, does it? Let's just double check. It does not have an animations folder or a tag, so let's go right, but right underneath motorized. Let's create our new animations tag here. I want the speed display code, and then I want the method double that there. Okay, so there's the close tag to my animations. Got my close tag. Make some room here. We're going to double this up. Call that one. RPM display, and then we need the digital one, which I have in my F1. Digital animations, come on, where you at? Or no, this one doesn't, um, Oh, that's the neat thing about the number display. It doesn't require you to do an actual um, animation for it. It just does it automatically. So that is freaking sweet. Okay, so now we got to now we're going to set up our uh, actual measurements for our speed display and our needles here. So we'll pull this into double screen. I wish there was a way to display both my screens to you guys on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so this guy, he's going to rotate. Boop, 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 boop. It looks a little funky, but whatever. So we'll take him. That is going to be our speed needle, I think. Is that my speed side? Yeah, that's, that's RPM. That's my speed. Start time, end time, rot, rotation. So it's going to go on the Y. Negative one nine five. That's not correct. Okay, we need it to go on the Z. On the Z, we want it to go that way. So, on the Z, negative one nine five. Let's try that. Uh, one nine eight. Negative two hundred, maybe. Two twenty five.
and if if I put actually not negative anything, if I put negative guys, it'll actually spin the other way. So I want to put positive right here. Um, so I believe it'd be positive one ninety five. There we go. That's what I was looking at, and that's on the Z. So we'll over here. You have your end rod. You have your X axis, your Y axis, and your Z axis. So we're gonna put that guy right there. Delete this old one. Put a zero back in place. And then now we're gonna look at the this one. And I think that's gonna be. See that one's gonna be a negative now. So negative one nine five. And we'll just copy that. And that was on the Z as well. So we'll put speed needle is going to be the index here. I like Giants does the new naming feature because then I can just be like, oh, cool, that's my next. It, I don't follow it, but I like it because when I go to make mods, it's easy just to make them really quick because I know exactly where to plug stuff in because they got it all enabled. So the best, and we need to go 195. So the best way to do that is just hop in here and put zero in space and boom, now that's fixed. Um, numbers animation. Now this is going to be asking for the legit numbers. Uh, these guys right here. So we're going to give them that. Numbers float decals. So it's asking for this one right here. We're going to go boop. And we're going to swap that out. Put that in there. But, all right. That is so sweet. That should honestly fix all our issues we have with this. Um, let's bust this out. Look at it a little bigger here. Do, 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 Log error. Where you at? Right there. Okay, so I fixed all the real lights. There is no driving. Um. <laughs> Oh man, to make this color changeable, I have to find my old uh, Blender file before I can do that because I have right here, if you notice on the material editing, when I brought this over, I have body, plastic, and Sierra Chrome. If I export this out into Blender right now, I'll lose all that material and it'll all be one material. And I'll have to do that all over again. And I'm not in the doing work twice, so you guys are going to have to wait a little bit until I can find that file. Uh, before you'll get the color changeable. If that's cool with you, I'm down, all right? Um, I'm going to say that's it. This thing should work like a champ right now. Uh, we might have to do some engine tuning and stuff like that. Uh, let's just boost up the engine, because I drove it earlier, and it sucked. So, I mean, it was super slow. Super slow. Okay, ski -doo. Let's hit save, since we've done all this work. Um, suspension. Collision, foliage bending. I took out all the I3D mapping. I broke this bad boy down. Okay, I want engine. You got tune, which sucks. Let us go to... Open up our F1 here. We're not going to give, well, actually, that'd be kind of cool. Huh? Let's just do that. Let's just give it an F1 engine. Just for the heck of it. I've spent some time on these. Uh, is it the Ferrari one? No, the fastest one in the in these uh, F1s is this 1.61 four-stroke turbocharged 2019. That's the fastest one. And I did some Googling, and that's the fastest one. So motor configuration... Stock tuned is okay. Uh, I didn't even bump up the so speed is going to be your RPM and then power is going to be your torque. And I didn't even bump up the max RPM. Let's just go to 8,000 and then these. It, this is super slow takeoff here. Uh, let me open up another mod that has better takeoff abilities. Sometimes once you get these engines down, you just kind of reuse them and make small changes. So this guy is actually way better motor. 
just the gearing dynamics of it. Okay. Wait, that's what I copied, right? I forgot what I copied. Yeah. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, so not there, not there. Real, real back, so from the motor up. From the motor to that motor is what I copied. Okay. We'll post that in there. A little better speed right there now. Uh, I mean, we want we want some power behind this. Eight. Uh, maybe maybe that's too much power. Six five. <laughs> I didn't, wasn't really paying attention. Just clicking randomly. Uh, we might add in some more gears here just to. This thing isn't going to ever do any hauling, so. See how that works for us. And then there's the, the Formula One engine, <laughs> just to play around. Let's put that in there. Tuned. Um, I think I'm ready to test this. So I'm going to end this video and then maybe I'll attach on another one. We'll see. We'll see. But that's how I fix the errors, guys. And I'll see you in a little bit in the game. All right, guys, now in order to make this work on my map, I had to raise the wheels up quite a bit. Um, I might adjust the map in the future to compensate for this, but for right now, just because everybody really wants this mod, it's gonna be like this. So if you go up on land, it's gonna be a little high, but in the water all around the map, it's gonna be perfect for you. And there's a lot of places to drive around and get crazy. I can see that one of my, it looks like my RPM uh, gauge isn't working that well and my numbers um, they might be a different they might be white and that's why I can't see them I might have to change the color on that but for the most part this mod works and is ready to party probably gonna animate this too so you can hop in this and drive this and this one over here I really been kicking it around because I mean it's got a prop and everything right here look there's a prop I could animate that thanks for watching guys